This is an oral history interview with Mary Machado Ganocchio in the Lafayette Historical Society History Room on October 23rd, 2018. The interviewer is Laura Torkelson. So the first thing that, of course, we want to know is the beginning, right? Were you born at the Alta Crest Dairy? Mm-hmm. All right. So um, do you have any uh, remembrances about you know your your early childhood there at the dairy or just well uh, it depends what age i mean we all had to work uh, sooner or later uh-huh. and help yeah uh, we at first we didn't have a dairy for a long time i i understood it was 1930 that the dairy uh, just about with that. your with and your oldest sister yes i thought that was so fascinating that yes. your oldest sister was such an entrepreneur she yeah. was a smarty yeah. Yeah, she was a uh, go getter. I would no, say. Talking about Cecilia. Yeah. Yes, Cecilia. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, uh, when you were growing up, how, uh, how can you tell me about your your house, your neighbors, your Our how you got around? Was, yeah. Well, the neighbors across the street were the Edgards, and then uh, up another house there were the Prices, and. Uh, that's in the, and that is, was seven acres up there that now has million dollar homes on it. Mm, I know. My dad could have bought it, but he couldn't afford it. Mm-hmm. And could hardly feed the family, in fact, you mm-hmm. know, with the eight of us. But uh, then we all, as we grew, we had help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I drove the truck there for a while. And to make the deliveries? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. She learned to drive at like 12. Well, I was 11 when I mm-hmm. started to drive. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, my older sister, you know, she really was the one to drive. Mm-hmm. And then Charles. Uh, okay. So um, I know that your, your father and mother came to the Hamlin land mm-hmm. uh, and in 1915. But where did they come from? My dad was from San George in Portuguese, uh, you know, Azores. Portuguese. Uh-huh. And my mother was born in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Oh. And her parents are from Bern, Switzerland. Interesting. And how did they meet? I was at a dinner with him. And, you know, you sit, you sit around. And then when before the dessert came, you know, you walk away or visit and come back. And that judge, he got up and he came over to me, and he wanted to know about my family, and I told uh, him. And he said the same thing when I told him about my parents. Well, St. Louis, Missouri, <laughs> said, and someplace they... in Italy, I mean, in Portugal, <laughs> it, it's, you know. How, how did they ever meet? Right. Because she was from San Francisco then. I see. So Both. did her family come out to San Francisco, or just she? No, I wasn't. She had too many in the family, I think. Um, there was just her at the time, mm-hmm. and then they had a son and then another daughter, or two daughters, yeah, Aunt Mary and uh, you, Uncle Frank and you, Katie. You mean Grandma's parents? Yeah. Came mm-hmm. out to San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Grandma's parents came out to San Francisco? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought you meant just Grandma came to San Francisco no, when no, she was older. No, no, no. Because she was a wagon maker. A wagon maker. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Her grandfather oh. was. Oh. Yeah. And and in, a wagon maker in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And so then and he, this Portuguese young man came by one day to buy a wagon or what? No, <laughs> they they came out, and I think they may have lived with them. No, I take that back because they lived in San Pablo. Oh. That's where my mom and dad lived. Mm hmm. And I have to think this over here. Uh, Then from San Pablo, well, before they moved to San Pablo, they were in Modesto because that's where my older sister was born. Mm. In the hospital. In fact, Barbara and I were talking about it this morning. 
and the rest of us were all born at home because my mother said she never suffered so much as she did in the yeah. hospital, and she was never going to go back and mm. have she a, didn't. another no, child all her children hospital, were at home. and she didn't. Yeah, I remember Sophie saying that, that she was yeah. born at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, in fact, my dad uh, helped <clears throat> deliver my sister, Teresa. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> So then they moved to uh, Lafayette, and they mm-hmm. rented the ranch mm-hmm. there, and then he started with the uh, his own mm-hmm. cows, and that's about all, all you know. He really had was the cows that uh, and the calves he would sell. Mm-hmm. He he butchered them too for goulards in a, a meat market in Oakland. Mm-hmm. And I had gone, had gone with him through the old tunnel road and mm-hmm. delivered them. And so at that time you were driving the truck? Or somebody that you no, had a truck? No, my dad was driving uh-huh. the, 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 the truck. In you, other know, words, you know, the not old, covered wagon, not, I mean, not horse and wagon, but no, no, vehicle, yeah. No, but you know the old tunnel road, how crooked yes. it was? Well, I've, I've heard, and mm-hmm. how narrow that tunnel was, mm-hmm. and how drippy and dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh Can I ask a question? Yes. That went on but for Mom, quite a while. How did Grandma for... and Grandpa meet in San Francisco or San Pablo? How did they meet? Now that's what that uh, judge wanted to know, and uh-huh. that's what she wants to I know. I know. How did they meet? I thought a dance. Okay. Kind of like you and Dad. Yeah. I've a always dance. heard a dance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and, uh so then they started. So we started out with the cattle business, and then when your sister um, started the dairy, yes, and, um, yeah, well, she loved horses, and she used to teach them to jump. Oh, oh interesting! Yeah, she put the, Train the horses. She'd put a um, one of those uh, oh that you put words across. What do you call a them? horse? A well, a, a horse. horse, I guess. Yeah, yes. well, yeah, you'd call them a horse. Yeah. And she'd put it out in the middle of the yard, uh-huh. and she tossed the doors. to jump. Ah, then did she go to competitions? No. Okay, no. just for her own yeah. satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, all right, that's great. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to ask. Um, <laughs> so did you go to then to Lafayette School, I imagine? Mm-hmm. Well, and she, my older sister went to the church. Oh, the second Lafayette school. The first, so, yes, first I know. The first school was mm-hmm. at the, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then they built the other. Uh, the one on the other side of yeah. the road. Mm-hmm. And that's the one you went to. Yeah, we all went there. We, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, did you walk or did you? Oh, no, we walked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we, Uphill both ways in the snow. It <laughs> <laughs> really wasn't that far. Well, but we didn't know. You know, well, it wasn't as just, far as the kids in Happy Valley or something like that. No, yeah. well, some did though. Yeah, I know. And I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, so you walked to school, and did you feel like you had a lot of work, a lot of homework, a lot of schoolwork, no. or was it pretty? No, it's just something you have to do. Yeah. You know, it's not like today. I don't want to do this or change that. You know. <laughs> well, I wonder if they were, if you had as much homework as kids nowadays have. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. I really don't. No, think so. I yeah. don't think so either. Yeah. And I think today they give them too much homework. Mm-hmm. Um. So, what kind of like? Can you tell me about friends that you had, or kind of the games you used to play, or how you entertained? We used to play. We talked about that the other day too. Um, I can go see, kick uh-huh. the can, and our home was just, a, well, you probably saw the picture of it, square. And is this the home? Yeah, yeah, and it had just that porch and one in the back, and we used to say, Annie, Annie, over, and one would be here, and one would be there, and we threw the ball over. Over the roof? Yeah. Ah, uh, my mother <laughs> told me that of her yeah. memories of childhood, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I remember Sophie talking about how much you just played in nature. I mean, it was just, yeah, that's outside, right. you know, right. you yeah. were outside and hiking yeah. and... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we saw we were, we were we were going when we made a sandwich to go up in the hill, and we thought <laughs> we were really going someplace. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. And did you, how many bedrooms were in the house? Two, two bedrooms. 
Eight children. So did and you put all, all the girls in one and the boys in the other and the parents? What, what happened? How did you do that? Well, that's about how we did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Several slept in one bed, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you had six girls. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, my oldest sister, she married, I think she was 20. So she was gone before the little ones yes. were? I think she was gone before Sophie was born. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That helps. Get out of the house. So we have room. <laughs> <laughs> and really... one bathroom, right, Mom? Well, well, lucky to have that. <laughs> but didn't you used to not have a... What? Probably had an outhouse. Did you have an outhouse? Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, that's oh, what I yeah. thought. Oh, yeah. When did you get the indoor bathroom? About how old were you when you had indoor plumbing? Oh, I guess I was maybe seven or eight or uh-huh. nine, something like that. So you pretty clearly remember. Sort of, yeah. How did you How did you do bathing before running water in the house? Well, I can always remember running water in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you didn't have a toilet, but you had the running water. Yes. Uh huh. We had, uh, and it wasn't too much longer than than we had a toilet mm-hmm. because the, the doctor he rented the place from. His wife, too. They were just so, so nice. Mm-hmm. They were... The Hamlins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So what about friends? Just mostly your siblings, or did you... No, from school, maybe. Uh-huh. But my mom, my mother was the type that uh, you're not bringing that person home. <laughs> <laughs> she was strict. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, was... she probably had her hands full and didn't need anything, anything more. more. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, but we had friends. Uh-huh. Yeah, Just, uh... I've been very curious about because um, every time I look at the class pictures from the '30s, say there is always a Japanese face or two. Mm-hmm. And I know that as Sophie was mentioning about how there were Japanese truck farmers, vegetable farmers, and that your mother would trade milk for tomatoes that she could then can. This may have been. A, when Sophie was, you know, she's that much younger. Maybe you don't remember that. I mean, but I'm different in time. I, don't I think it was during the Depression she was talking about. The point is, I wondered if I, I'm just curious about there having been Japanese people and then having them disappear. I was just going to say I don't remember Japanese people. Okay, all right. The farmers we had were Italian. Aha. Uh-huh. In fact, when I delivered. Do you, you know where Happy Valley is? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think it was about 14. And we had a little round about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. There were just several several place, places, the Rossies and the Ravazes. And, and the, the Ra, Ravazes, there was a mother and father. They couldn't speak English. Hmm. And the boys, could. they learned English, and they were about 10 or 12 years old. And they would tell me what the mother wanted. Huh. And one of those boys is still living in Lafayette. I, I thought I had heard that name. Uh-huh. Do you know how to spell it? Ravaza. R-E-V-A. I think there's a Z in there. Yeah. All oh, right. Geez, back, he lives right in the corner from Paul. Does he? Yeah. Sophie knows him well, very well. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That That's the kind of thing that's Is her great. voice loud enough to pick up? Okay. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Over here. She that. speaks low. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I know that uh, the Portuguese aspect that there was a large Portuguese society and mm-hmm. they had festivals and yes we had the Holy Ghost feasts and that's that's one of the big things we used to go to in fact our family picture we were all we all got all dressed up that one. Oh, this one yeah and Looks like she has a it was Holy Ghost time and that's boy, we finished. went to the Holy Ghost feast to the Holy Ghost feast mm-hmm. Sophie still and goes to them Yes, but they're not around here. That that they were saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so this this Holy Ghost feast, can you kind of describe it? Well, they have a parade. They choose a, a girl from one of the families to be the queen. Okay. 
And then that was a big thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And then they'd go down Main Street. In they'd, Walnut they'd Creek? Parade. Yes, in Walnut Creek. And um, then they'd come back, and then they have the um, Blessed Sacrament, I think, because mm-hmm. it's a Catholic thing. And they'd march it in and put it on the altar. Mm-hmm. And then they'd have a, a what they had called soup is a Portuguese dish. Mm-hmm. And they'd all win and eat. And there was a big hall. Wow. They still have a lot of them in different areas. Auntie Sophie yeah. goes up to one. Yeah, I was somewhere. just telling her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, how many, would you say it was like coming from all, all over? Obviously no, Lafayette, no. Walnut Creek. Yes, yes. Conquered Walnut all over Creek, the whole Walnut area. Walnut Creek is, was, was where they had their office and their buildings. Okay. Yeah. And the, the little St. Mary's Church. That's still there on Mount Diablo oh, Boulevard. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but it was down it was in cool. town. Oh, I more, see. Down where, I think, Capwell's is, it was in there. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Macy's, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That sounds like a lot of fun. Did, was that like every year you guys went to this mm-hmm. and it was like the big yeah. well, event? Yeah, it was something else. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Uh, one of the things that Sophie said was that you always had lots and lots and lots of laundry. I wonder why. Oh, you don't feel... <laughs> I, I, and, and what I didn't ask her, but I'll ask you, is how did you do the laundry? Good question. Well, my mother, well, you have to look back and see how much she did. Uh, yeah. She not only worked in the house, <clears throat> but she went out and she fed the hogs. Uh-huh. And she had chickens all the time. No, she re- she really worked for a city girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she had her share of work. How did yeah. you do the laundry though? On laundry a rock? by hand. Well, I mean, by that did did you have to boil water and? Yes. Okay, yeah. so you had a big pot. Well, it was like a tub. Uh huh. Yeah, and we had the, the porch in the back, and that's yeah. And then you put all the clothes in it. Well, little by little. And you use a washboard? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then hang it up and... Yes. (laughs) We're so spoiled. (laughs) We are so spoiled. Oh, my gosh. You have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) No, we don't. (laughs) That's why you need to tell us. (laughs) Yes. No idea. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Let's see what else. Um, So... um, I wondered, uh, how long did you live in Lafayette total? I mean, when did you move away? Or Me? Mm-hmm. Myself? Yes. I moved when I was 20, was when I met Daddy. You were 20 when you met Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. You had a Johnny at 18 and lived in San Francisco yeah, with your mother. Yeah, that's right, too. Yes. Yeah. She was married early and had uh, my brother, and she was 18. Yeah, and I, lived, I don't think of that. <laughs> well, I lived in San Francisco with my grandmother, Machado. And then... Um, oh, your grandma moved back to San Francisco, so I never knew Yeah, that. she was well, on Mission Dolores Street. Oh, so yeah. I, I know that uh, after leaving Lafayette as a family, you went to Clayton. Clayton. The family yes. went to Clayton. Right. And then I understand uh, your father died yeah. of a brain tumor or something Yes, like he that. did on his pituitary gland. Yeah. And so then after that, obviously, you're talking about... Uh, his widow, your your mother, mm-hmm. moved to San Francisco. She always, no, she always loved San, San uh, Francisco. No, she wasn't in San Francisco when when Grandpa died. No, 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 no. They were in Clayton. No, that's not yeah, what right. She yeah, said. no, wanna, I, I got that. Talk? Oh, I thought you said then after, she moved. After, you, after, he after died. after your grandfather died, your grandma moved to San Francisco. No, oh. no. Oh, okay. Grandma didn't move to San Francisco after yeah. Grandpa died. She mm-hmm. moved to um, Concord Boulevard. I'm worth saying where she went after he died. Subsequently, later. Yeah, okay. she went to San Francisco because she always liked San Francisco. Okay. And then she lived over there, and there was her dad's place. And, and after she got tired of that, she went to live with my sister Teresa and uh, Charles and El Cerrito, and she had a nice little house there. Mm-hmm. And then, well, as she got older, she 
She lived with us, yeah, and she, she lived was, with different we'd daughters. Take, mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd take turns. Okay. So. And apparently, um, you too lived with her then for until you were twenty. Is that what you're saying? Or yeah. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you go to high school? I didn't graduate from high school. Uh huh. I went a couple of years to Mount Diablo. Uh huh. We took On the, the train. train. Uh huh. Can you tell us about that? What was that like? Oh, Just I kind of. It was like a day. I liked it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I liked riding the train. Uh huh. Oh yeah. No, it was it was fun. So you walked down from from your land, mm-hmm. from Hamlin Land. Yes. To what station? Well, there was only one station, and you know what the big hall is there by the school that... Town hall. The town hall. Between the school and that, there's a road that goes down... School Street. Yeah. And at the end of that... That's where the station was. Uh Aha. And so you waited there with a whole lot of kids, or not too many? I mean, how many, you know, lots of high school kids, or not Oh, yeah, they came from all around the Uh area. That was the only place. That was the only high school for a long time. So they yeah. could go, yeah. But I mean, at that particular station. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, and there was a uh, a man that had uh, not too long ago he he died. Uh, Gilly, his name was Gilioni. He was Italian, and he was very nice looking, and all those girls <laughs> all <laughs> liked him. Yeah. The high school girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Giglioni. He would, yeah, I know that name, Giglioni. Yeah, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There was another fa- a Giglioni family, but they were related to this man. They lived in a Happy Valley. Happy Valley, that's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. All right. So uh, you got on the train, and then how was it? What was it like? Loud, quiet, noisy. What was going on? No. On your train ride, just kind of everybody sat yeah, around. Yeah, it sounded like it would be today. <laughs> <laughs> no. You were like well birth. behaved and quiet, huh? Yes, they were. Uh-huh. You know, never was any any fights or mm-hmm. that, I, that I, I don't know of. Seems like there were more women, more girls than boys. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And you chatted, and then you got to school. Yeah, and that's all. About how long did it take the train ride to school? Oh my. We had to stop at Mulner Creek. You had to pick up kids, too, mm-hmm. that went. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe an hour, two hours. Oh, that long? Well, an hour. Well, yeah, because then the train doesn't like It wasn't a high-speed day. train. No, no, it wasn't yeah. a high-speed train, and that is a fair yeah. distance, even yeah. when you think about it now. It could take you a good half an hour to get yeah, out there. Yeah, it was stopped. So, yeah, I could see that, actually. Yeah. So, about what time did you get home in the evenings? I, I mean, was it dark in the oh, winter no, time? No, 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 no. Wasn't Might that late? Three thirty, four o'clock. Oh, that's maybe. not so bad. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. In fact, there's still a station, um, not too far from here. Uh, before you get to. Uh, I think you go on Olympic. If you want to get the, besides the back way, is the Olympic Boulevard of Mulner Creek. Mm -hmm. And and there's a little, there's a store, and there's the um, restaurant on the corner there. Serenap. Right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that would be close to real quiet. Do you remember that store? Because I heard heard something, somewhere I read about the store there at Serenap that is now the Italian restaurant. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. That it that it was a place where the kids got candy and stuff. Uh-huh. Do you yeah. remember the name of it? The, that store I don't know, but I'm uh-huh. trying to think of the name of the. I read, you know, oh, the where Il it is. Pavon is the restaurant. Il Pavon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right on the corner. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, in fact, I yeah. have pictures of today and how it looked then, oh, and wow. you can see that it's the same building. Yeah. It's been added on to, yeah. but you can tell yeah. it's the same building. Nice. Yeah, somebody told me it was something like Slow Sam's or some name like that. I, I couldn't tell yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so what what are your like fondest memories of Lafayette? Do you remember where your family did shopping or what 
this, you know, like downtown was like, or? Oh, there was Stark's store that had all the candy. What, what store was that? Stark's? Stark's. Uh -huh. Grocery Remember store. Candy. That's right. Grocery yeah. store. Uh-huh. I know just where it was. It's still buildings there. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, what is it now? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. So Stark store for candy. What kind of candy did you particularly well, like? In, you know, in, you could stick your hand in and get some and, you know, pay. now now you, you can't do those things. But kind of those penny candies? That, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But did you have a particular favorite? No, I love candy. <laughs> Any kind yes. is fine, oh, huh? Oh, I love candy. <laughs> in fact, my mom used to say the only one of the sweets. And yeah, <laughs> because I was so not eating, and we had a nurse from the school that <laughs> that uh, used to check us all and weigh, weigh us. And she thought I was I lost too much weight. I was mm. too skinny, mm. and she did the wrong thing. She went to my dad. Uh. <laughs> and he said, "No daughter of mine is going to go to Sunshine Camp." It's up on uh, Sunshine Camp. <laughs> yeah, up on Marsh Creek Road. I think it's a alcoholic place now. <laughs> uh, so, so the kids were the the students were going to go to this camp, the Sunshine Camp, as a school no, thing. No, no, no. If you if you didn't look well. If no, you... but that's what I mean. And you couldn't go unless you were healthy. No, that's where they were sending no. them. If you no. Oh, no. I see. Yeah. Sending her to get healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I was if so you were sick. Oh, she, she was so actually thin. that concerned that she, she thought you had to go small. to a place yes. to get <laughs> to get better. Yes. Yeah. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, your children didn't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> and no, and, and 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 I didn't later either because yeah. I gained weight and yeah. Do yeah. you have any idea why you just went through that time where you were I don't eating? know. Well, I love sweets. Uh -huh. Didn't hurt you. You're 97. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Give the kids sweets. No, I yeah. didn't. Uh... So it was much ado about nothing. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> I didn't like her afterwards. <laughs> Did you go to the camp? Did you go? No. My dad, <laughs> no daughter of mine. Is one of them. <laughs> so eat your chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so what do you, what, can you think of any other stores or any other downtown memories? Well, there wasn't much to remember, you know. <laughs> I like that. There yeah. was a drugstore. Uh-huh. Of course, this was, this is much later because I worked, uh. Oh, you worked at the, at which drugstore, the Stanley one? Well, Stanley owned the building. Yeah. The name of the druggist I, that I worked for, I can't remember his name. But it is the Stanley Building. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah. Then Borgazani's came. Then what? The Borgazani's. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. And that was like the, the, the Roundup Saloon and the... Yeah. What else? Yeah. Very um, nice. Very nice people. Uh-huh. And I think they're both still living. I I know he is, and then they t that was on going toward Oakland. It was on the right hand side, but now it's on the left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, what do you think of like the biggest changes that you see? Oh when my! You... After the uh, tunnel opened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It changed everything, huh? Oh. And and World War Two, I think. It, yes. In other words, all oh, the people yes. moving oh, yes. to California. Yes. Mm -hmm. Suburbs, yeah, grew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are your, like, fondest memories when you think about Lafayette? When you just, the word Lafayette, what kind of things kind of come to your mind? Is it my family? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And I think of how we lived, you know, and what we had to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you most remember that you had to do? Well, I think with the milk, mm -hmm. the uh, delivery, mm -hmm. milk delivery. Mm -hmm. That must have been mm -hmm. fun though, driving all around and. Well, sort of, but then uh, <laughs> we we did Walnut Creek, uh, Lafayette, Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill, and Concord. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big area. It was. Mm -hmm. There was quite a few, 
and uh, my, my sister had to drive. We didn't have a driver, and then I, I think I was in about third or fourth grade. No one to go with her but me. Mm -hmm. So you get up three o'clock in the morning. <sighs> <laughs> and you come. We we'd come over the hill, in Pleasant Hill, and. You look at Concord, and there was just one row of little lights. What was the road? When you come over from Alkalani, you know. Oh, like Pleasant Hill Road? Yeah. Okay. And, uh -huh. and you go over. And then yes, you, yes. In Concord, just a little, maybe um, six or seven lights, street lights. It was lights. quite rude. In, or Con Salvia. in Concord. Or Salvia. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what street it was? That's what she's asking you in well, Concord. Well, yeah, she said it. Uh, well, Pleasant Hill Road over, over the yeah, hill. over the hill. And then... Does when it you're in the hill. Yeah, I know where you are. And you look at Concord. Uh-huh. And that's how many lights. Uh-huh. Concord was nothing. Yeah, but she. what street was that in Concord? Salvio? Where the what, lights what were? What was the main street? Or Willow Pass. Or Willow Pass. Well, it had to be Main Street. It had to be Salvio Street, mm -hmm. if it was named that. Then that's mm -hmm. where the only place and that's they true, had too, the names change. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. That that's, that's really a lot of territory. So how long did it... You had to do all that before school? Yes, I did. Huh. Shoot me. <laughs> that's a lot. And so... Your sister's driving, and then mm -hmm. your job was to what? Deliver the actual milk? Well, she stops. You stop at the home. Yeah. And a lot of times they maybe had a note. They wanted two bottles or oh, three, yeah. or they didn't want any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hop back in and go to the next. Fill one. the order, and then yeah. move to the next place. Yeah. I remember those days when you put the milk note man, in the yeah. milk. Yeah milk bottles to say I went two quarts today or yeah. whatever uh -huh. yeah. and some people wouldn't pay so uh oh I had to go I go and a little third collect. grade person hmm? a little third grade person had to go and oh, ask no, for then money? I was a little bit older okay. than that okay no. yeah no, no I, I think I was the collector 15 <laughs> or 16 uh -huh. and one of my sisters would come with me oh good yeah mm -hmm. yeah well, I think you probably learned a lot about being confident and talking to people. Well, and sometimes I'm too much, so. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this... not you, Mom. <laughs> well, that's really cool. <coughs> Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your life? And... Well, I was a devil. Uh, well, give me an example of that. <laughs> and you still are. A devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wasn't uh, backward. You what? I wasn't backward. I, 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 yeah. Precocious, I think they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, you can say that. Because you're sort of in the middle of the pack, too, of age. Yeah. You have. So what, can you give us an example? Pardon? Tell us a story about one of the times that you were a devil. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Pick one out of many. Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't take any candy from the candy store, did you? No, that I never did. Okay. No, I never I never took anything from anybody. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but what caused you to have that reputation for being a devil? Well, a I guess because I started out young, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with people. I, I, I just think it didn't bother me. So you could talk to people and yeah. just step right forward and... Yeah. Talk to people yes. easily. Yeah. Uh huh. Claim your space, kind of. Yeah. 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 I, like I guess that. you could say that. Just uh, I don't know. My sister Teresa, she would never. She was backward. Shy. You know? Yeah. And that's the way her personality was. Uh -huh. <coughs> and my sister Frances, she. She was pretty forward, too, because when she graduated, she went to work in San Francisco for, uh... That's her. Mm -hmm. the As a secretary? Was that the mm -hmm. group? Uh-huh. I think I read these. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so I do definitely want to know... Oh, I thought I'd show you this, too. This was from Ollie Hamlin's office, I guess? Maybe you've seen these paintings that he had in his office, and I think they might be of your jewelry. Oh, nice. Do you recognize those? No. 
you don't recognize those buildings particularly? No. Okay. There so was maybe one in not. here I did. No, we didn't have trees like that. That's a beautiful tree. Yeah, he says maybe it's a cottonwood. Is. Oh, cottonwood. And that's a vineyard there. No, that was an hour. There was another one that I saw. was an hour. Okay, we so these are not. We were here last year. No, no, it was when I came in. That's what I'm saying. No, today. Oh, today. That's it was a barn. Oh, here is oh, this. Oh, this one. So yeah, these are pictures in. of property. Yeah. And, and this has yeah. snow. Yes, yeah. there is yeah, one in snow. Yeah, we had snow. Holy yeah. Moly. Yeah. Yeah, this is where the dairy was. Those were the no houses. That's your Uncle Tony, Barbara, in that picture. Tony, aw. And that's my brother, Tony. He was a good guy. This must be in the hall or someplace. And that's my dad and uh, Agnes, I know that's Sophie. Well, it's, that's yes. what I want to do kind of next is get names up to put with these things. This is a purposely a photocopy so I can write on it. Huh? You're asking me. Well, I can say well, some can, of them. Can we write down any ones that we could know? Okay. Can you think of anything that made you a devil, an example to give her? That's what she was asking you. You know how you said you were a little devil when you were young, when you're old too? But anyway. <laughs> This is Joe. Where do you want me to write it? On there. It's, On just, there? it's just a photocopy. Uh, okay, this is Joe. Can you well, that's been, the, the I sun Joe. Backward. Okay. The sun. I didn't care. But can you give her an example of things you did that this made you This is the oldest. Were you, were you mischievous? No, I wouldn't say that. I just do things Did you people. get in trouble at school? No. Mm -mm. No, All right, I this is Mary. Barbara, who's the guy on the right? Is that your Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe. That's what I thought. This is Mary Lampson, right? This is Cecilia and Jean, mm -hmm. your oldest mm -hmm. sister and her husband, mm -hmm. and that's Mary. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think about it. So, can you think of anything else you want us to know about Lafayette? Or the future generations to know about Lafayette? Well, I sure li I liked it over there. Yeah. I truly, mm -hmm. truly did. Mm -hmm. No, and I I liked where we lived and, uh, and the people I knew. Of course, yeah, I gave you that well, last now, name. This is did you feel like you knew most people? Oh, I did. In in Lafayette, yeah. in this very small town. Yes, yes. Uh huh. In fact, the other lady that was here, we were talking, and uh, I said, "Oh, I knew them, or I knew them, and I knew them, and I did." Are you mm -hmm. Tony's wife? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But That's great. That? Hey, Everyone was so was nice. Mm -hmm. What year? Forty different today. <laughs> <laughs> so you must June have left 45. here. Yeah. Oh, here's Tony. Right around World War II, right? Yes, right yes. At the beginning of World War no, II? I remember I was having my brother. going to work at June the drugstore, and they had bombed Pearl Harbor. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. How did you find out? Was it like was people radio. talking about it? Or it was radio? a radio. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the radio 40. was on in the drugstore, and you know, it? I was in the, in I the thought car. That was oh, in the I think car. They, I can't really tell. It, for me, it, it was 40, work. because you oh, yeah, were shocked. shocked. I can believe it. Yeah. Because I know that's why she All wasn't. Right. And this, this is, is that, Tony. I, I just, oh. I want to be sure to hear about oh, this oh, World God. War II. Um, so you were, of course, you were very shocked. So you're driving in your car, you hear that Pearl Harbor has been bombed, and you're, so what did you do? Yeah. You drove to work, and then... Well, yeah, what do, you, what do you do? You talk to everybody, of course. Well, everybody was talking about it. Yeah, yeah. No. Did you know it? Did you know that it meant war right away? Oh, yeah. Well, yes, yeah. sure. Yeah. A bomb? Yeah, yeah. And, of course, I had known there was friction to mm -hmm. begin with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. another place uh, or thing that was shocking is when uh, the bombing and... Uh, the bomb went off in Port Chicago. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. Where were you and what did you see and hear? 
I was in bed, and all of a sudden this happened, and the bed shook. I almost hit the other wall. The walls weren't, it wasn't too big. But that was, I thought it was another bomb. Mm-hmm. Didn't it blow out a window? And it blew, out, blew the front door open. That mm. was a heavy door and a window. Where were you living then? On, on Clayton Road then. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And really, that was about five miles away. Yeah, that's a lot closer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nona's house. Nona's yeah. House. And I, uh, ceiling then the people in Port Chicago, in fact, to this day, I... There's a nurse that she, she comes to the house on Sundays to see me, oh, and, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. and she uh, had to move her family. Okay. They had to move away mm-hmm. from there. She Can said they had just built a new home. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I believe it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a very powerful explosion. Awful. Yeah. Hey. Really awful. I'm sorry. When I'm you sorry. moved out to um, Clayton, then. What was the job that your father did until he was not able to? My dad never worked outside the uh, the ranch okay. until they moved there uh-huh. because then he didn't have he had a few he had the yeah. animals he brought with him, but he went to work for the county. Oh, I see. Okay, but that didn't last. No, I think he was, was sick. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I think we're pretty much. That's about how oh, I, I can tell you that. Uh, well, I'm sure you could tell us a whole lot more. <laughs> tell you the, oh. <laughs> the story about the cream when you guys would go out and with the cup and drink the cream. Ooh. That's cute. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's neat. Oh, and that, and that cream was unbelievably good. And thick. Uh, and if we had strawberries, oh boy. Yeah. Just. Uh, of course, my mom had to watch us because she knew what we would do. <laughs> but you also said it used to sit out there, and nowadays you worry about, you know, okay. souring. Remember you used to say it would sit outside, and you guys would go and take yeah. a drink of it and didn't even think about it. Yeah. Because I remember that story you were telling yeah. me. And I thought that was neat. No, Just a bucket of cream. There's a lot of little... You know, that's what they want to know. And and those things are like your little pleasures that you yeah, have yeah. of that life. Because, you and know, we do want to know those. Well, yeah. I think when you get several kids together, you think a lot of things to do. Uh-huh. And that's what we did. You know. Well, see, we can't do those things anymore. Oh, no. I have never done that. No. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's... Uh, well, there's, there's a lot of little things. That well, you can tell her those things. Those are the stories they're interested in. Mm-hmm. What well, about your Christmases? Oh, good question. Well, Should you go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christmas, yeah, we always had a Christmas tree. Did you cut down yourself? I uh, know. No, my dad bought it. Mm-hmm. Because then there were hundreds of tree, tr- mm-hmm. you know, trees. And we had the uh, little clips where you put a candle in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my mother used to worry, now be sure and keep an eye on that tree. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. When I think now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Isn't that funny? Real candles on the tree. Can I know. Yeah. What was I... the most exciting part about Christmas for you as a kid? Oh, whatever we got. We mm-hmm. couldn't wait, but it was always fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling my grandkids that. Yeah. Yeah. Nani got fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you were lucky to get that. Yeah. My dad would buy a box of oranges mm-hmm. or a box of apples. And mm. that's your Christmas present. And they were probably happier than the kids are now. Then and what was your Christmas dinner? Oh, well, that was, <laughs> that was really good. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. What did you have? My mother's always... Well, she raised her own chickens, and then, mm. or we did, we had geese and a goose. Mm. And one time she had, uh, oh, I think about four that were ready to eat, and uh, we she sold them uh, at Christmas time, and I plucked them. Mm. 
for the customers. Go pluck a goose, and you'll never pluck another one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's that's yeah. the truth. Uh, yeah, what were some of the side dishes that you had along with your chicken or your well, goose? Well, she always grew vegetables. Uh huh. There was always potatoes, you know uh-huh. that. Yeah. And potatoes and gravy. Mm, like mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, yeah. Making yeah. me hungry. And and vegetables like what? Pine. What kind of it? Just I'm trying to visualize the table. What was yeah. on the table? Oh, the it could be Christmas table. Could be um, beans, uh-huh. uh, green beans for sure. Uh huh. Yeah, um, salad, mm-hmm. lettuce, yeah. maybe some fruit, whatever, whatever uh, you know. She was had. available at that time. Yeah, that year. Mm-hmm. What did you look forward to the most? Seeing the, the tree or the, the fruit apples, or, the apples yeah. or the oranges? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, maybe that is. So you never got a present like wrapped up or anything? Later, 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 later. later oh. There was a store in Mona Creek, uh, Big Lowe's. Hmm. And uh, she was about the only one that had, you know, dresses or materials and little things like that. My mother loved that store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she, she'd buy little things mm-hmm. once in a while. At Christmas time, mm-hmm. you know, when there wasn't all of us to buy for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we'd get a little gift. Mm-hmm. It's cool, how about birthdays? Um, how were they celebrated? You had a cake. Uh-huh, well that's something. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise it was, wasn't was any big party. Yeah, just the family and a cake. Hmm? Pardon? Just the family and a cake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite cake? Was there. Pardon? What was your favorite cake? I can't say if I had a favorite cake. You like them all, just like mm-hmm. the candy. But Grandma would make, <laughs> Grandma made the cake from scratch? Well, yeah, we, except when we had the milk. Dairy. We we had the bakery in Mona Creek. Oh, and then my dad would get him if we had a birthday. Of course, mm-hmm. we were older then. Then he'd have a order a nice cake. <laughs> yeah, crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. This has just been fun for me to hear well, I hope your story, so. <laughs> and people will too. <laughs> Have Enjoy it, kind of make it come to life. Yes, I could probably talk a lot more, but you well, you're good. welcome to. You did good, <laughs> yeah, I know. but I think I did pretty good. You did. You told us lots of fun stuff.